In this video, we're going to plot a histogram for our driving test pass age data. So we've already got our data here that we used to produce our cumulative frequency graph. And we're just going to add some information to this so that we can plot our histograms. The first thing that we need to add is the interval range. And again, please note that it's the interval range, not the group range. Our interval is 17 to 21, 21 to 26, and so on. So the interval range will be the upper limit minus the lower limit. So in the case of the first group, that's going to equal 21 minus 17, which is 4. The interval range for our second interval is going to be 26, which is the upper limit, minus 21, which is the lower limit, which gives us 5. And we can repeat that for the last two intervals. We've got 36 as the upper limit, 26 as the lower limit, which gives us an interval range of 10. And finally, we have an upper limit of 61 minus a lower limit of 36, giving us an interval range of 25. Now, the last column that we need to complete before we can plot our histogram is the frequency density. Now, just as a reminder, the frequency density is the height of the column, but it's the area of the column that represents the frequency. So if we take this first group as an example, we have an interval range of four. Therefore, the width of the column is going to be four. And we need to determine the height such that we get a frequency of 47. And we'll call this height x. So we need to find the height x that gives a frequency of 47. Well, hopefully you can see that in this case, 4 times x equals 47. Therefore, x is just 47 over 4, which equals 11.75. I'll just do one more of these for clarity. If we take the second group, we have an interval range of five or a width of five, and the frequency of that group is 34. So the area of that bar is going to need to be 34. So we need to determine what we times five by in order to get 34. So once again, we'll call the height of that column x, Bearing in mind the height of that column is the frequency density, and we'll get 5x equals 34, meaning that x is 34 divided by 5, which in this case is 6.8. So the frequency density of our first group is 11.75, and the frequency density of our second group is 6.8. And we've found that by doing the frequency divided by the range. And the frequency divided by the range for our second group. So if we continue then, we've got the frequency divided by the range was 47 divided by 4 for our first group. It was 34 divided by our range of 5 for our second group. Our third group has a frequency of 36 and a range of 10, which is 3.6. And our last group has a frequency of 18 and a range of 25, which gives us 0 0.72. So now we're in a position to plot our histogram because we have our frequency densities. And the other column that we're going to need to be able to see is our age intervals here. So I'm going to hide the columns that we don't need. And just leave the age interval and the frequency density, which we'll be using to plot our histogram. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have our data for our histogram. And that includes a column for the age intervals, ranging from 17 to 21, 21 to 26, and so on. And we have a column for our frequency densities. And on the right hand side, we have our axes set up. On the x axis, we have our ages. And on the y axis, we have our frequency density. We also have an appropriate title, driving test pass age data. 
So first of all, we're going to add values on our frequency density column. And we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, ensuring that we can plot our highest frequency density of 11.75 on that axis. Our first block on the histogram then is going to range from 17 to 21. 17 is here, 21 is here, and the frequency density of this group is 11.75. So we need a height of that column of 11.75. Is going to be here. And there we have our first column of our histogram. Next, we have a group which ranges from 21 to 26, and this 21 to 26 group has a frequency density of 6.8. So 21 to 26. 26 is here, and 6.8 is here. Close that off. Our third interval ranges from 26 to 36 with a frequency density of 3.6. So 36. is here, and 3.6 is here. And our final group ranges from 36 up to 61 with a frequency density of 0 0.72. So we have 36 to 61 which just about fits on our axes, and a frequency density of 0 0.72, which is there. So here we can actually see the real value of using a histogram because we have intervals of different sizes or different ranges, and we can see that the areas of each of these bars differ. On the histogram, the area of the bar represents the frequency. So the frequency, of our 17 to 21 group, well the range of that group is 4 and the frequency density is 11.75 which gives us our frequency of 47. Our second group ranges from 21 to 26 which is a range of 5 and its frequency density is 6.8 giving us our frequency of 34. Next we have a group that ranges from 26 to 36, which is a range of 10, times a frequency density of 3.6, which gives us our frequency of 36. And finally, our group at the bottom has a range of 36 to 61, which is 25, times a frequency density of 0 0.72, which gives us a frequency of 18. So what this shows is our largest group is our tallest column, but our second largest group is actually our third tallest column. The area represents the frequency, not the height of the column.